Greetings beautiful people. So zigzag on the rise, zigzag in the morning continues. Homemade organic coffee. Okay. Uh with of course Faro. Say what's up. Alright, cool. Continuing on, I wanna make sure you know this, alright? I'm not vegan, neither is my dog, okay? Uh and I'm sure you've watched my videos. You know, I, I do clearly mention that I'll eat animal products from time to time. And even if I was eating fruits, I still practice mindfulness. Even if I'm eating an apple, mindfulness. Put your energy and attention on the fact that you're eating an apple. Just like if I'm listening to you, I'm going to be silent. Listen and silent. Those words are interchangeable. So... One thing that I could tell you is, is this. I look at my life like a garden, okay? A garden. <laughs> so, I don't have many pests in my garden because I take preventative measures to make sure that I don't get pests in my garden. But I do this organically, not with chemicals, right? So, any time that I get a parasite or a pest... In my garden, in my space, in my presence, of course, I question why this happened. I know why this happened. You hear what I'm trying to tell you? But the key is knowing and spotting it in. So, it's been taken care of. So, I can tell you this. Alright? If you don't understand something, don't, don't, don't try to invade a space you don't know or understand. Okay? See, one thing I've, I could tell you is, is this. I've learned a lot because I've learned to control my emotions, my anger. You know, I, I used to I used to feel like I got angry a lot back then. But even if I'm not on suppress my anger, I try to channel it. I accept it that I get angry. Something triggered me. But it's now about channeling. It's something that I need. See, the anger, it's crazy how we look at characters like the Incredible Hulk, Darth Vader, and all these characters that I've always been so drawn to growing up, right? And I ask myself, is this why I'm angry? Am I, am I because of like the programming that I look at these? No, 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 no. But there's always a lesson to be learned though. Okay. There's always a lesson to be learned when you're, when you're conscious and aware. You see, we are consciousness. It's all about evolving the consciousness. And they get strong. It's a strong emotion. You get stronger out of it. Right. But it could also blind you. It could leave you careless. See, when I got cut off the road for example do you know how much more empowered i felt in the fact that i did not feed into that knowing that that wasn't me that was just my ego front line and i was able to make a decision and say this is not what i'm going to do i'm just, just let it go and i with my mind i transmuted the whole situation saying this man is probably in a rush or whatnot but then there's situations where you might have to flex okay and when you have to do that you can actually learn from that as well. Sometimes you have to let things happen unconsciously for you to actually learn something from it. Like my friend watches my video and there was an incident that happened in New York. And this video might cut off because the camera is dying, but if it cuts off, I'll continue and merge the videos together. But there was a guy, I was, and, and my, like I said, my friend watches, watches my video, he'll know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to exaggerate this. This is actually fact what happened. And I never mentioned this because it wasn't important, but I'll mention it now. There's reasons and points to where you need to stand up and there's and and do something, or if not, then just fall back and just just let it be. It's really no no need. You protect your energy. But I'm protecting my energy now, don't forget that. But I'm in New York. There was a guy. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for parking with my friend. There's no parking in New York anywhere. There was a guy, I mean, there was a car literally where it was taking up two parking spaces. Two parking spaces, man. And I'm like, God damn, look at this car taking up two cars. And I said this car, like if the car was doing it. But then I happened to see the guy coming out. I didn't know there was a guy inside because the windows were tinted. So when he came out, to me, that's like the spirit coming out of a vessel. So I addressed the spirit directly. So I said, hey, man. Um, and I, I did it nicely. I was like, hey, bro, uh, you might move in your car up a little bit. There's enough room for both cars there. I just want to make sure I can get in. I can't find parking anywhere. And the guy goes, I'm in a rush and, and people be dinging my bumpers and shit like that. So I'm like, bro, there's plenty of space there. There's a small car. I just want, I, there's no parking anywhere. Why would you take up two parking spaces? So 
He goes, yeah, man, I'm not. I, I'm in a rush. I don't have time to, to be blocked in, and then I, can, I can't get out. So then I go, dude, can you move your car up a little bit, man? Like, seriously, you're taking up two parking spaces. That's not cool. And the dude came up and straight up said no, like that, right to my face. The first thing I did was I looked at my friends, and I, and I was shocked. I was like, what the fuck? I thought he was going to move the car. But my friends were looking at me shocked too, like, what the fuck? So I blanked out. I left the car right in the middle of the street. Then people didn't honk anymore because now they saw me come out. So they love the drama. They love the spectacle. This is how fucking shit happens, right? They love to see drama. So I get out of the car and I and 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 literally because he's he was walking away. So he saw me coming, he turns around. And I go, listen, dude, I don't know you and I don't give a fuck to know you, but you don't know me either. So I'm gonna tell you right now, you either move the car right now or I'm gonna make you motherfucking move it. So do that shit now. That's exactly what I told him. And what happened next was crazy because he didn't respond. He didn't say anything to me. All he did was he took his keys, turned around, and went and moved his car. Now, I found this interesting. For one, I felt fucking great because ego flared up. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I punked this guy out. But that's how everybody would just look at it. It's just punking it out. But I was still in the process of questioning my reality. Why did this guy not stay? He flexed on me telling me, no, why would you flex up on me if you ain't about that life? If you're going to just fucking go and move your car anyway. You look like a bitch. See, I went outside and I was ready to fight this dude because I thought he was going to stand his ground, but he didn't. He just straight up went and moved the car. In a way, I was happy that I didn't have to fucking fight. But in a way, I said to myself, I was upset the fact that he didn't stand up for himself. So I said inside of me, man, what, what needs to change inside?